We're uh, taking our breakup kind of hard, aren't we? Yeah, super f***ing performative. Hey, can I just say real quick that I f***ing hate this? Did you guys know that? Grimes is literally like... Gr Grimes is the cleanest definition of like a cosplay socialist in the universe. Well, she she was like anti... Wasn't like anti-colonialist and then she took it off her Twitter bio when people asked how she could reconcile that with being with, uh, with Elon Musk. Every time she talks about politics, she just... Yeah, she's just absurdly and embarrassingly how conceited do you have to be by the way you have a photo crew you're walking around in this outfit with fucking marks also what is this outfit supposed to be is this supposed to be some kind of rustic proletarian outfit oh yeah dude this is totally communist being super wealthy and being married to the richest fucking dude in the world until you break up after, and then you wear some fucking fashion outfit and have a photographer take photos of you in makeup and hair, reading Marx. Like, yeah. This shit she's wearing probably costs like $10,000, okay? Yeah, that outfit probably costs more than your guys' cars. They broke up. You guys didn't hear Elon Musk and Grimes broke up? What about their child? Why the fuck should I care? I've never given a fuck about Grimes, and I only care about Elon Musk insofar as I dislike him. Who reads the Communist Manifesto instead of Das Kapital? I don't think there's anything wrong with reading the Manifesto. Isn't this just gatekeeping? No, it's not. Anyone can get into it. It's just that she's doing it in the most LARPy and performative way imaginable. All of her advocacy with left politics has been performative. It's never, like, manifested in a way that like meaningfully changes effects or has she ever like made an effort to spread socialist agitprop by the way has she ever like advocated for any real progressive or socialist politics or does she just say that she is and then like shuts up about it it's exclusively a brand for her it's an aesthetic flourish it has nothing to do with her actually being gatekept from the ideology it's performative absolutely but does it bring anyone over to the left i don't think so this this is like Dude, we made fun of AOC at the Met Gala, but this is like 10,000 times more performative and less effective. At least, like, AOC actually talks about the ideas that she believes in. Like, Grimes running around... Okay, guys, how many people were made socialists because there were, like, edgy dude bros at university with Che Guevara t-shirts? I'm gonna go ahead and say probably none, you know? When you, when you turn socialism, when you turn socialist advocacy into just another prop for a photo shoot... You're not actually advocating for it or showcasing it or signal boosting it. You're turning it into an aesthetic, which removes it further from its ideological roots. Isn't like this is capitalist realism. You take everything anti-capitalist, distill it, commodify it, and sell it back to people. Pretty soon we'll all be wearing like Karl Marx t-shirts and, you know, we'll be fucking watching the Karl Marx Chinese anime and you know, playing Assassin's Creed 3 and talking to Karl Marx in it. And it's all sold to us. It's sold to us from people who are shameless about the fact that they know you'll never adopt any of the mantras they're advocating for. The anime is all right. I've never seen the anime. There's nothing wrong with making media about Marx or socialism, by the way. The point is that if it's being sold to you as a commodity fetish, like satiation totem, then it's uh it's not uh it, 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 you don't actually have the it's it's not being sold to you in a way that'll like allow you to learn or to put it another way guys don't you think it's a little bit sussy wussy baka waka that there are a fuck ton of like explicitly anti bourgeois pieces of media that are made and produced by mega corporations like really think about it are there not a ton of movies and tv shows for decades now they like have evil corporations and evil business owners um like uh, uh 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 using their money fucking lex luthor has been a thing for decades you know as a as not just a mad scientist but as like a, a businessman now oftentimes the artists who make that like for example robocop or they live or whatever like these artists sincerely believe these things but here's the question for you yeah fight club yeah sure fight club okay fight club now, what's the name? Pa Paleon of what's the name of the author for Fight Club? Pa pa Chuck Palahniuk. Thank you. He's gay, isn't he? Yeah. Chuck. 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 Now Chuck's a cool guy, right? Okay. Now, if you watch his movie, it's pretty clearly anti-capitalist. Even though Tyler Durden's overall sanity and ideology are criticized in the text and in the movie, 
it's still pretty clearly an anti-consumerist flick, right? Now, why would a studio finance that being made into a movie? Don't you think the bourgeois should be shaken in their boots? Like, we don't want to finance any movies and spend millions making them when they have anti-capitalist messages. We, we don't want to signal boost these, these class consciousness spreading, you know. What about The Hunger Games? The Hunger Games is literally about proletariat collectives like being exploited for the, the amusement of the bourgeois. Has anyone been made a communist from The Hunger Games? Maybe a few. But studios still make it. Why? It's because they're not afraid of you. It's because they know, or maybe they're unaware of, but many of them at the very least know, that you are powerless, and they can produce anti-capitalist art and make a lot of money from it, knowing that that way of producing art does not make revolutionaries. Find me one revolution in history that was motivated by a AAA blockbuster studio movie. No, of course not. Books can be self-published. Maybe that's possible. But they probably don't understand the message. This is literally what they said about, like, AOC at the Met Gala, right? This is about capitalist realism. Hold on. Where's that text? I know, I know the text exists outside AOC, but the, it was published over the image. It was, uh, it was about capitalist realism. It was literally from capitalist realism. But unironically, Parasite is theory. Parasite! Parasite! The movie Parasite! No Nothing TV. How'd you find out that fast? Parasite! Guys! Parasite! Was made by a Marxist, wasn't it? Or at the very least, a socialist. Was it not? It won Academy Awards. It was, show, it was signal boosted to everyone. Why would the Academy, which is full of stuffy, bourgeois, elitist pricks, promote Parasite, knowing that it's an ideological counterpoint to everything they represent. It's because of this quote, which we will read while looking at AOC. According to Fisher, capitalist realism has so captured public thought that the idea of anti-capitalism no longer acts as the antithesis to capitalism. Instead, it is deployed as a means for reinforcing capitalism. This is done through media which aims to provide a safe means of consuming anti-capitalist ideas without actually challenging the system. The lack of coherent alternatives, as presented through the lens of capitalist realism, leads many anti-capitalist movements to cease targeting the end of capitalism, but instead to mitigate its worst effects, often through individual consumption-based activities. Now I'll ask you again, is this promoting anti-capitalism, or is this simply relegating Marx's image to an aesthetic flourish for people who are themselves fully capitalist, but find it aesthetically pleasing to fetishize elements of anti-capitalism. Yeah, but imagine being divorced. Couldn't be me. Is it not the same as Che Guevara t-shirts? Yeah, of course it is. A ton of people who wore Che Guevara t-shirts didn't even know he was a revolutionary. Literally, his face was just a meme. He just He's just a handsome, cool-looking dude, so they just wore him on a on shirts. Do you think that, like, the t-shirt printers were, like, making Che Guevara t-shirts thinking, like, I hope this doesn't inspire a communist revolution? <laughs> Probably not. 